Hey there, it's Cheryl. Today's content is titled, You've Made the Team, Now What? Three High Performance Hacks for Teens to Have a Great Season. First of all, I want to congratulate everyone who has even made a high school or club team. Once kids are in high school, it's no easy feat to even make a team. So they should be incredibly proud of themselves. There are a couple things that consistent high performers do in order to have the best season possible and also to be a great teammate. The first one is attitude. It's incredibly important for teens to have a good attitude towards their teammates. In a perfect world, teens would all get along amazing if they're on the same team, but that's not always the case. If teens have a great attitude that they will encourage their teammates, their team will have a great chance of doing its best. Second, teens need to have an attitude that they will be very present in practice as well as during competition. That means pay attention to what's going on and be very involved in every point, and that's whether they're playing or not. And third, teens need to be ready. They need to have an attitude that they will be ready to go when called upon even if they're not in first. Second, teens need to learn to be resilient. This doesn't mean that they discount any feelings that they have that are negative such as anger, disappointment, or frustration. Those are all very normal but they need to learn to be resilient so they can play their best and the way they do that is to first recognize how they're feeling, whatever emotion it is, they need to recognize it and think that it's okay, but it's not appropriate to think about during competition. Second, they need to release it. The easiest way to do this is just to take a deep breath in for four and out for four and release it for another time. So they've recognized their emotion and now they've released it. Then they need to strategize. What do they need to do to get back on track? For example, for a tennis player, if they made a couple double faults, they might get really frustrated at those double faults, recognize that they're incredibly frustrated, but understand that it's not appropriate to be frustrated in the middle of a game, take a deep breath, and then get back to their strategy, which is possibly to toss higher and follow through. So you get the idea. Third, what high performers do to be consistent and great teammates is to be focused. The first thing I'm going to talk about is sleep. I can't emphasize it enough and it's not just me. Ariana Huffington wrote an entire book titled Sleep Revolution and there's been years and years and actually decades of research on it. If teens don't get about eight hours of sleep, typically they're going to be compromised and I know it's rough in high school, but if they can plan their day and be as efficient as possible and get rest, they will be so much further ahead of the game. Second, and this one's rough even for me, but I'm getting a little more discipline, is to put their phone away, ideally 60 minutes before they go to bed, but for sure 30 minutes before they go to bed. I recommend getting them an alarm clock so they don't need to have their phone in their room to wake them up in the morning. The reason for this is if they stare at a screen, and if we do it too for that matter, it makes your brain very active and it makes your sleep and it makes their sleep not as restorative. And even if they do get enough sleep, they might still wake up tired. So that's a really important one. And the third part of focus is for them to have a ritual, especially during competition. And that ritual will start when they're in practice, but they need to make sure that they do it during competition. Again, going back to tennis, it might be thinking, let's go before every point, or some players tap the side of their leg. Again, they should do this during practice to get used to it and do it consistently during matches. It's a way that they can reset and get refocused and present so they can think about what's important. So if your teens can get the basics down for attitude, resiliency, and focus, they will be well on their way to having a great season and also being a great teammate. I'm glad to answer any questions if you reach out to me, and thanks for having a look.